Did you peep all the subliminal messages and spiritual attacks in that movie, Leave the World Behind? If you look at the title, it's talking about leave the world behind and basically talking about like apocalyptic type of end time settings. If things red went down or if we had a cyber attack in the movie, it was basically just talking about death to America or a cyber attack in America. You didn't see the rest of the world. And so I thought that was kind of interesting. And then on the title, the name spelled out to bow, which is a demon king and the Bible, which is another name for Beelzebub, which is another name for Satan. And if they wanted to put somebody else's name in there, like Kevin Bacon, then then it would be different. Other names is Julia, which means it came from the name Julius Caesar and bringing in that Greek and then also the Jew for Judah and then Ethan Hawking, the hawk for Horus or hawk Aheru, which is the Egyptian form of the Messiah. And then they have Charlie in there and they use one of their names to blaspheme the Messiah. They use Charlie and then the Ali in there for the Islam Muhammad energy and then the other names even roof there's a roof in the bible but they put it i feel like they put it there for a reason and then having the deer on there with the same deer that was in get out and even i got the same vibe with get out when they was staring the tea and then he was staring the coffee so kind of putting us in hypnosis turns out it was just two teenagers in the philippines You think it was your fault? Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. Putting us under a spell. This is the only reason why they make these movies so that they can go to our subconscious mind and get us to manifest certain things as manifest a reality by getting us to be operating in the spirit of fear, fear mongering, as well as the fight of flight type of energy to where we feel like there is no hope left and we gotta be helpless. And people can say it's a warning, but here's my thing. They wouldn't be warning us. They don't even care about us in the wise words of Michael Jackson. So why would they care if we know or warning us about whatever they have planned for America or planned for the end of the world? Because in every movement, they always make it clear that they're gonna be good regardless. They have bunkers underground they're gonna be straight so it's basically like bullying us like taunting us like what y'all gonna do or we want y'all to go ahead and put this into place by put making because we create reality by our thoughts and also just by our prayers and different things so we can actually see that movie and if we're not wise enough or if we're not awakened to the truth of what's going on anybody just watching it for entertainment can be like oh yeah okay this was just a movie but then in the back of their mind they like let's go back up on food you know let's go and get guns let's go ahead and get all this stuff if she's gonna hit the fam let's be prepared let's you know wild out and it and this is exactly what they wanted. They wanted you to be able to spend all your money on their movies, go and sell out their survival kits, their things on Amazon, on the Walmart, all you need, everything to stock up in case of a crisis, and then there don't be no crisis. I bought a generator. I bought a hammer. I bought a whole kind of ax kit. I bought those water things, like for the purifying water for my whole family. I brought taser and pepper spray in 2020 when they said things was going to go down, and I haven't been able to use none of it. And then like the people who be doing the coupon shopping and be having all that food in the bunkers, like one of the places in the movie had all that food, had everything stocked up and wasn't even there. Couldn't even be there. Where was all the people? Whole time they still getting rich off us and using our energy to do whatever they want to do. It was like two people in the in the movie, either people who was overly protected of their land and ready for war, and then the other people who were ready to help people, and then the other people who was helpless, and like, we can't do nothing if we don't have technology. Because they got us so warped into technology to where we don't need, we feel like we need it anywhere we go, or we're so codependent on it to where when they like take it away from us, we have nothing to protect ourselves, nothing to connect with others, nothing to find out where we're, at, where we're at and what we're doing, even when he was saying like, I have no G GPS, I have no way of getting to where I need to go. I'm helpless. That's how they want us so dependent on this technology and not using our spiritual technology that is within us to tap in and to also just before you could just walk around the neighborhood we had no phones but we always made it back home but now we just need gps we need the the, the tv we need everything to keep us tapped in and tuned into the world and we are going to be helpless if we don't have that and so no idea what i'm supposed to do right now i can barely do anything without my cell phone and my gps i am a useless man 
level what i thought was also really eerie like i couldn't even finish the movie because i'm real sensitive to energy so i was like watching it and it was boring as heck like it was real boring and i'm like i don't even want to finish this movie like so i did <laughs> but i was just noticing all the different things and i had watched a couple reviews of the codes just so i could get different parts of the movie and what i peeped was it was so much blue like it was so much blue to where it was kind of uncomfortable first she had blue all through her house and then she was wearing blue Julia Roberts nonstop throughout the whole movie. And then the cars that were blue, the blue on the wall with the with the evil eye picture in the house. And I feel like it was a lot of connections with the Islamic because the words was Islam with the warning that said death to America. Um, the actor, Mr. Ali, um, as well as the evil eye and then other different things that I noticed to keep throughout the whole movie. And so just connection with the blue as well. I feel like that was an attack on the throat chakra because they had it to where they had the picture of the boy and the girl or in the... What is that? What? Is that blood? Mm. What do you... What are you, what are you fucking doing? What the fuck? Are those your teeth? Archie. Stop doing that. Clay. My teeth. Clay where it said obey like in the movie they live and then also her said nasa so basically saying obey the the system and nasa which is a part of the system which generates different pictures saying that they are out of space and also if you put the little the little red within between nasa it looks like a snake tongue and the if you invert it it could be satan so they just say obey satan and then having the obamas to produce this movie and that's the democratic party and also obama's a antichrist spirit and with his uh, husband michael and so they can produce this movie allegedly because i think somebody else was a film by somebody else but they also said obama had made it and so it was given it's giving me vote kind of energy like vote for democrat vote for the democracy and because they always want to do republican versus democrat in each movie sublimely telling us to go ahead and vote and choose the worst of two evils and different things like that so i feel like the blue was targeting that as well as every time a democrat is in in office they always have something to where they go against the islamic party like with um um obama it was osama bin laden uh with George Bush, he's not Republican, but I believe he's like a family of Obama. It was the um, the war in Iraq, and then other ones, it was different ISIS and cyber, cyber attacks and 9-11 um, and everything like that, and so I feel like they were putting it in there to where they want to bring Islam together, Christianity and Islam, as well as putting Islam as the, the culprit saying that they're not for, not for peace, but that they're going to bring the war towards us, and it was the three countries, the different world countries that they wanted to really specify on or really magnify Korea, China, and uh, Arab. And those are like all the different people that they said we've been coming against uh, because we like owe them and money or that they had um, our social security numbers or we get oil from them or we have gone to war with them or had different problems where it might be third war kinds of um, war type mentality. And then having the so-called black man versus the uh, American cowboy, Dallas cowboy, uh, white man was kind of like bringing it into like a civil war type of thing and so they want to get us back into that reality when I witnessed the ship coming across the sea and I was just like okay I see white lion what made me think of is Satan is like a roaring lion and a copycat of the lion of the tribe of Judah but then also just seeing that it's a white lion and someone had told me how the white lion was the first slave ship to appear in America and so if the Obamas had created this movie we have to think why would they project certain things onto us why would they make a movie about this promoting slavery promoting civil war promoting the different cyber attacks and the different wars the same type of movie they've been replaying over and over again to get us to manifest this reality and get us to blaspheme with the the white is also for the famine also for the white horse of the apocalypse that brings death and the um the different attacks that they want to go on and it made me think of like the inferiority complex because it was their home but they had to stay in the basement like the bottom uh the bottom of their own house and had the other people moving into their place and taking over it was kind of getting like set back like you're inferior do what you can do to make us comfortable because you know how they try to say like our people is so aggressive and, and, and like angry and want to fight and everything like that and so uh we're like basically trying to say how we're savages so basically we have to conform and make it comfortable for other people to exist on our land and so basically taking over what is ours and i just was noticing a whole lot within the movie of how uh there's this like spiritual empowerment 
and was like a glitch in the matrix how all the deers came around but deers are very like heightened spiritual beings like they gravitate to people with a high spiritual aura and a spiritual energy and so without the electronics and everything like the harmful emfs and the different radiations they were able to come around smoothly and so they make it seem like if things were to go we the the animals will take over the land again and that uh we we need to go ahead into the wilderness without having any type of direction any type of head any type of messiah go to the wilderness ourselves and prepare ourselves for what's going on and you know get get ready now since 2020 they've been given this narrative in the spiritual community get your stuff together um get your um packing stuff camping stuff your guns and everything like and it's like the ascension process the exodus process the awakening process is going to be spiritual and we're supposed to be gathering in the clouds supposed to be gathering online and connecting with each other that's how we're going to find the saints that's how we're going to find our soul family that's how we're going to connect that's how we're going to build that's how we're going to grow and destroy the system by crashing and hijacking the system because they hijacked our spiritual system and so having the cars crash the teslas uh it made me think of like how the different glitches in the matrix as well with the white cars and like if you're gang stock you know it's like a whole lot of white cars and also i was talking to a brother and he was talking about how the t is uh um like it's kind of like the the, the cross sign or the lewis kind of sign and having the, the teslas be autopilot and so them crashing like having no messiah to autopilot us or to direct us and all of them being recalled right now like it's like they took the movie so serious because they put a serious matter in front of us and just brought stuff to our attention and also having them just crash together like crashing and stopping the accidents being blocked in while they're trying to build the wall of mexico and block us in if something was to happen in america and have us to be uh abandoned here and no way out as well no way out no way in and how they left the mexican women behind basically saying how you know they're gonna leave they don't want the the tribe of judah and the tribe of ephraim to join and leaving her behind just how they're going to be closing off the border and leaving the Mexicans out of America. And so everything was real, you know, strategic and cunning how they put this movie together. He was saying how his buddy had warned him and had basically told him, you know, take care of yourself. And he was like, oh, you're not getting with your buddies in the cabal and getting together on the winter solstice. Like he joked about that, but I still feel like they was telling us like they got something planned for the winter solstice because December 21st is like the shortest day in the year, as well as it being the time of ritual of the winter solstice when they do a lot of their um, rituals. This is when the 2020, they said that the people in the spiritual community was going to get powers and that energy was harvested to bring on the pandemic. And then December 2021 is when they had the lockdown. And then December 22, something else probably happened because they always do it around that time, especially connecting it with Christmas and when so-called Jesus' birthday, but really it's Santa coming into town, calling Mary, Virgin Mary, a ho, 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 while they try to say this is Jesus' birthday, but his birthday wasn't even in December. It was actually in the summer months. And so this is a good time for all the other sun deities to get worship and Krampus which is the real Santa and all the different paganism that's going on, but they need all this energy harvest to bring about whatever they want to do. And so they want to, they release this, not a coincidence, before the, this, this time, they release this, not a coincidence, before the December 21st, before Christmas, and before the end of the year. They always try to project a dark winter onto us, and they do it through this movie. They're doing it through the airwaves, the frequency, the vibration, getting us on a low type of vibration, getting us to be in our head and think with fear. And when you think about our bodies, we are technology as well, not the man-made one, but created by the most high that way when you take clothes out the dryer and you get that spark in your hand um, we're revived by the electric shock to the chest and even if we're like meditating and we're all thinking of like one thing we can think of like the highest frequency the highest vibration and we can be able to control these things when we was little they used to have us clapping to make the movie start if there was like loading and things like that because it's all energy it's all vibration there's even people when you walk in a room and you have like a strong aura you can get the lights to start to flicker and things like that so they don't want us to focus on the power within they don't want us to focus on the most high they don't want us to focus on messiah who's supposed to be our elite our shepherd and leading the pack and, and and being revealed at this time they even had the 76 in there for the blasphemy of the 1976 second coming of messiah as well as the everything in the movie was really dark and the plane falling out the sky like the plane falling out the sky was basically like saying the fall of the the exodus the fall of the ascension process Says. The plane is all about, you know, reaching higher lights, reaching higher heights. And so having that fall out the sky, having the, the ship be stopped and derailed, all that was just subconscious spiritual attack basically saying it's ending the cars crashing and praise the lord and french's was internal and they got christ from cars which is anointed mummy so the car and we are the car rights which is we are like we are saints and so if the car is crashing it's us crashing us stopping the forward movement stopping us being anointed stopping us being protected stopping us from getting our white rows with the white cars as well and so everything they did in that movie was straight strategic straight a spiritual attack and then also having the absence of the melanated woman was also very conniving because they tried to say she was on the 
she was on the plane and so and they couldn't find her basically that she died and so they do this a lot in the movie not having a powerful melanated woman there taking her out of the family dynamic taking her out of the the the, the scriptures taking her out of the the world basically not having that great support system but on the other races they always have that strong leading female actress and um they can say that the one girl was like but i'm she was giving me transgender vibes anyway and so or melanated but she was giving me transgender vibes anyway so yeah they really want to take her out of it take the the women out of it and the antichrist hates women so that's why he did like that and it was just other things through the whole movie that was just like off and you just like what is what are they saying what are they trying to do you know it wasn't just like oh we want to do a cyber attack and we want y'all to go into a wilderness it was also going to say we want y'all to have no power we want y'all to feel helpless we want y'all to you know uh be without and also damaging your psyche and blasphemy oh yes the friends that was mentioned not a coincidence they had friends in there you know that i don't know his name but he was chandler in france he just passed away he just died in water also when they showed all that water it was giving me marine kingdom vibes it was the water with the ship coming up the water when the plane crashed she was by the water even in the beach and even all the blue with the water and the blue that was in the uh on the beach as well and so when they attacked hawaii with the energy weapons and how with blue you don't get harmed by the energy weapons so i feel like the, because it was in the suburbs it was a lot of blue a lot of them didn't get damaged but when they had seen like far away the different bombs and stuff the different places in the city that was being burnt and things i feel like that was also from energy weapons that um the so-called aliens were going to be dropping and so they were just putting everything in here all their agendas that they want to do the lock-ins the uh, no spiritual power no no electricity and the alien invasion and stuff like that and so like uh the house like was their only protection and how we go into the um we're supposed to go into the house close the door and pray in secret and our father see us in secret but being that they was attacked so bad like they really didn't have no uh electricity they had no power they had no outage and so also was giving me like the house of god how it's our temporary protection and um the bottom basement part is like the prison chamber that the antichrist is going to be in with like the the pyramids which is the altar of the lord there's the king chamber the queen chamber and then the uh the the prisoner chamber or the um the the other chamber and that's where the antichrist is going to be at but instead he like switching it out and put the man in the house that's supposed to be at the top at the bottom yeah it, it was psychological psychological warfare and there is electromagnetic energy in that pyramid between 200 and 600 meter wavelengths. In Atlanta times, we knew that everything was mined. They were bringing up every cyber attack and every type of blackout that they could think of. And like, it could happen, you know, it's, it could happen. It's been done before. And somebody's trip to Morocco. Where's your wife? I'm curious if you're worried about her in the city. She's on a work trip to Morocco. Her flight is due back here in the morning, actually. Can I see? There was just a lot of things with Islam like being mentioned in there. The horse that we seen when he drove off uh, leaving the house and he was going to encounter that Mexican woman also gave a sign of the apocalypse. Um, brought up the cabal and the elites who are the uh, evil powers that be that are running stuff and, and approves of these movies being released. Mm. The ringing in the ears. That's one of the different spiritual attacks and alien frequencies that people be getting and it was like really loud and so it was kind of like uh, putting them in an animalistic type of nature and domination and so a lot of people get those and they think it's a sign but really it's like the uh, uh, sonic waves and also it's like something they use with different technologies with different energy weapons with different game stockings to get you to be paranoid and uh, the red flag with the Arab on it and saying like that to America, but it was also a red dragon. And next year is the, the year of the dragon. Also the dragon um, kind of snake that is in Islam and the spirit that is on the Antichrist spirit, which is connection with Obama as well. Um, like I said, the death to America caged in with a terrorist attack, but they're talking about leave the world behind. They were kind of symbolism, the three days of darkness, the way it kind of ended at the end with it getting dark and then being out in the forest also. Chandler, and it's interesting because also Julia Roberts was in an episode trying to get with Chandler, and, but he had just passed and he was in the water. He was supposed to a lot of stuff about Batman and Batman is talking about the Messiah because he has the bat, which is the Louis Slugger, which I said, praise the Lord in French, is Louis Eternal. So the Louis Slugger is what the Messiah uses to fight off certain demonic spirits. I remember when I had a vision of the Messiah and he was telling me it was my turn to fight these demons he was giving me the uh the the bat and so they had batman and they used it as uh, a blasphemy of the lewis slugger and also as a messiah and so a lot of people they claim to know god or they claim to know the messiah because their hearts you know are pure or whatever but they don't really know the true name they don't know that you know it's not jesus it was yeshua they don't know that the the truth of the scriptures or how to decode the 
scriptures, how to get the metaphysical out of it, how to get the spiritual out of it, and how to get the metaphors, but also get reality from it as well. And so they're kind of lost and confused and going to be relying on the government to give them these resources or to give them any type of warnings to do whatever they need to do in life because there's no direction, there's no forward movement, there's no head. And so a lot of people don't believe these things because of how much the indoctrination has to be, how, how much the indoctrination has been, how much religion has lied and switched certain things to f fulfill their needs and fulfill their, um, whatever they're trying to project onto us. So that I'll be thinking of Psalms 83, of all the, the different cultures that's gonna be coming against us or that said, let Israel not be a nation anymore. And so all of them were mentioned in this movie and um, the underground bunkers, yeah, excuse me. Yeah, that's pretty much, um, that's pretty much all that was going on in that movie. It was just so much to just unpack. And it's probably so much more that people are going to pick up on. Uh, but I feel like they want us to watch these movies because they need us to manifest this into reality. They need us to fear. They need us to be totally confused in a delusion of how things are going to end in the end time. And how we're basically going to have to fight and go into war mode and warrior mode. And get it to be more fleshly, more carnal than to be spiritual. Because third, World War Three is a spiritual war. And the coming of the saints in the, the second coming is a spiritual thing. It's the revolution will not be televised because it's going on within us it's in the mind and it's also in the spirit realm and whatever happens in the spirit realm manifests into the physical so they want us to shut us up they want us to be in fear they want us to rely on technology so much that we can't live day-to-day -day lives on a normal and they want the grid to go down because they want our lights to go out they want our spiritual power to go out they want us to stop us from connecting stop us from spreading truth you see a lot of the people you get there the last four years it's been the banning of videos taking down people's videos as well as well, fact checkers because it's like freedom of speech is no longer a thing and they don't want people to spread the truth over here because it can spread so fast and we have the power to reverse the black magic that they're doing with the technology and cyber magic that they're doing and get into making people possessed in the mind and to start tweaking out here like crazy and so all these things they use against us and their only weapon that right now is the media is the television they want to teach us tell lies through our vision on what they want us to be do and act and so this is me putting light to the darkness and balance to the light i pray that you and yours is protected and directed shalom